The T-72 is a Soviet-designed main battle tank that has been in use since the 1970s. While it has been criticized for certain design flaws and vulnerabilities, it has also been constantly upgraded over the years. Just like any tank, its effectiveness and safety depend on several factors such as specific model, maintenance and tactics used in combat. Overall, opinions on the T-72 safety and effectiveness vary among military experts and historians. But I'm gonna try to give you an unbiased answer to the question, is the T-72 a death trap? So enjoy this video. Is the T-72 a death trap? Well, to some degree you could say yes, but also no. The thing is, the T-72 is well protected frontally and is hard to penetrate. So as long as it doesn't penetrate the tank, it's not too bad for the crew. The problem is just, if it is penetrated, it ends up quite fatally for the crew. Unlike most western MBTs, the T-72 is not built around crew survivability. A prime example for that is the ammo storage, which is designed like a carousel. The carousel ammo storage is located right below the crew and in the turret, and it's an easy target to go for when facing the sides of a T-72. When the ammo is hit and in the worst case explodes, it's very likely to end the crew in every way possible. Hits in the ammo carousel storage are also the reason why the turrets of Russian tanks blow off so easily. This explosion happens very suddenly and violently, and if the hatches are open, it cooks the crew alive. If the hatches are closed, the crew will be torn into pieces just like the tank itself. But it's not just the ammo that presents a problem for the crew. Since Russian and Soviet tanks are very focused on being smaller and lower profile, that also means that there is not too much space for the commander and the gunner, who are located inside the turret. That also means that if the turret is penetrated, there aren't a lot of things to hit besides the two crew members. Also, there are not any lining materials inside, which means the chance of internal armor splintering and injuring the crew is very high as well. Besides that, the fuel tanks can present a problem for the crew as well. The T-72 carries 1200 liters of fuel, 495 of which are externally mounted on the right side of the shelf of the exterior hull, which is alright. But where it comes to a problem is the 705 liters of fuel located inside the crew compartment. It's quite obvious what would happen if the fuel ignited. Even though that doesn't happen very easily, it's not guaranteed to not happen. In certain conditions, the fuel tanks will burn and the crew as well. In general, you could say that the T-72 is not a very pro-human tank and does not emphasize much on the survival of the crew. So you could say more or less that the T-72, along with some other Russian and Soviet tanks with similar design, is a death trap. It's not a badly designed tank, as it does the job which it was intended for perfectly, but you gotta say, if it fails, it fails catastrophically. It is a small target and difficult to hit, but once it's penetrated, it's not very forgiving for the crew. Anyways, that was all I had to say for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you think I said anything that is not right or you think I should have added any additional information to this video, please let me know in the comments and share your knowledge. Besides that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.